Good morning. Oh, it's wonderful to be here again uh, doing uh, what I love doing on a Sunday, and that is uh, uh, reading from uh, the Divina Commedia by Dante Alighieri. This is Tom Padula from Tom Padula TV on YouTube and Insegna Booksellers. And today is um, Sunday, the 15th of January, 2023. And um, I must say, uh, tanti auguri, uh, my best wishes, uh, buon compleanno, happy birthday to my sister Carmela in Rome. She's 80 today. So it's wonderful to celebrate her on this day by reading Canto, 2023 of Purgatorio, and it's program number 63. So I must admit, though, that this morning I'm not really well prepared because uh, I've been away and I thought, no, I must uh, do this. So I'll be reading from Canto 23 if there are uh, sections that, uh, you know, are not um, easily explainable uh, right now. I urge you to come and pick up um, uh, the works of Dante Alighieri from Insegna Booksellers. I have some, um, uh, a few copies of, uh, of the three books. And uh, if you are interested in Purgatorio, it is quite uh, an interesting second book of um, the Divine Comedy uh, because it discusses uh, the seven cardinal sins and here in this particular canto 23 dante virgilio and stazio go up to uh, the circle of uh, <coughs> of igolosi uh, the, uh, the gluttons people who suffer from gluttony and they there uh, there's a legend of contrapasso no? how do you handle that uh, in as a penitence in other words, you have to expiate your sin of gluttony. And it doesn't have to be just food and drink. It can also be the, to be a glutton for power. When you want power, uh, it's, it's a bit like gluttony. You know, you, you really desire it uh, incredibly. But when uh, then you have to uh, make amends, that is that that feeling of wanting something really badly, you know, wanting to eat something badly, is taken away from you. And the only way to to handle the contrapasso is by not eating or not drinking or not wanting power. That's how it works. And uh, here is the, 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 the circle uh, just before... There's one more, and then we get to Paradiso Terrestre, so almost just under uh, the, the new book or the new uh, tile of the Laldila, of the afterlife. In other words, Hell, Purgatorio, Paradiso. You're getting to Paradiso. Paradiso is going to be quite interesting, I think, uh, I don't know what to expect, really. Is it going to be all saints? Is it uh, going to be all, f all uh, you know, the feeling of happiness to be close to God and uh, living in a place where there are no punishments because everyone lives the right, in the right way? Who knows? I'll check it out. It's 11.30 now. Let's not forget that I will be reading from my poetry as well, and then I'll try to get um, back to the music with uh, Dora. I've tried it before here, but uh, again, with the computer, we'll see how we go. Okay, so let me start. Let me start, Canto 23. Here we go. Before we do anything else, of course, uh, let's uh, read about... Uh, you know, uh, what is in the canto, canto 23, okay? Uh, so this is the summary. As Dante idols behind Virgil and Statius, Virgil urges him onward, reminding, reminding him that their appointment, appointed time should be used wisely. They are soon overtaken by a group of penitents singing, Lord, open my lips. These spirits appear to be gaunt and emaciated. 
Dante thinks that the omo of the human face stands out starkly on these figures. In other words, the face, according to uh, Middle Ages, the, the Middle Ages um, thinking, represented uh, the the face of God on earth. So, omo, men, women, representing uh, the spiritual, and uh, you know we're made in. Uh, we think that God has a human face. That's what they believed at the time, I think. Again, I have to check this out. One of the figures addresses Dante, and though Dante doesn't recognise the wasted face, the voice is familiar. It's his old friend, Forese. Forese, from the family of the Donati, is a, was a friend of of Dante, and they used to, the famous sonnets against each other, you know, taking the mickey out of each other, sort of thing. But in a little nasty way, in very much Middle Ages way, and, you know, very straightforward. Foresa explains that the fruit tree and water on this level, because that's what happens to Dante and Virgilia and such, when they enter uh, this new circle, uh, th there is a tree with full of fruit and surrounded by water that almost says, come and drink me, try come and eat me. But the, the penitents cannot touch the water or the fruit, though the, you know, the, the smell, the, the odour of from, from this um, magnificent tree uh, he sort of urges, you know, stirs them up and says, well, this is what you had in, on earth. Now, come and get me, but the souls can't. It's not permitted. Okay? So Fores explains that the fruit tree and water on this level of purgatory have a special virtue which elicits cravings in the gluttonous. He describes a yearning that leads us to the tree, like Christ's yearning. Dante in turn explains what he's doing in purgatory. So, interesting. Interesting indeed. Now, as ever in purgatory, time is critical. It's meant to be carefully used for spiritual purposes, not wasted. The hymn of the gluttonous suggests that their mouths now ought to be used for praise not excessive consumption of food and drink. Omo refers to the Latin word omo or men. There was a medieval belief that the word, words omo dei, men is of God, could be discerned in the structure of the human face. So man is of God. Man is made in his image. Uh, it, it's an interesting um, concept. Okay, so that's that's that. That is, you know, basically what the cant is going to be about. And now let's read it, of course. Okay, let me reorganise myself so that I am more in tune with you and me. All right, let's go. Uh, before I do anything else, here that's where we are now. Here we are. See that uh, little triangle there at the top? That's the mountain of um, Purgatorio. So we, we've covered so far superbi, invidiosi, i racconti, accidiosi, avari e prodigi. And now is the turn of the golosi. The last one will be i lussuriosi. So this one is golosi. Okay. Uh, la sesta cornice, they called it. Back to me. Okay. Let's go. Mentre, welcome to Curtis Al Tolman. Good to see someone coming on uh, because, of course, I, I took a few weeks off and this is the second uh, week 
uh, where I'm back, but I did miss out uh, this week on my uh, world history and uh, and also uh, French and Spanish for the same reason. I went away and uh, the beach, uh, the sun, the sea called, uh, called me <laughs> together with uh, members of my family. It was fantastic. Okay. Mentre che gli occhi per la fronda verde ficcava io sì come far suole, che dietro all'uccellin sua vita pre perde, io più che padre mi dicea, figliuole, vieni oramai che il tempo che ne imposto più utilmente compartirsi vuole. So, you know, he, was, he wanted to know a lot more, you know, straight away, Dante. And, uh, of course, Virgilio reminded him that to use his, his time wisely. You haven't got much time here. We've got to go to the next cornice and, uh, soon. We only got, you know, half a day, a day, whatever. So don't waste your time. Io volsi il viso e il passo non mentosto appresso i savi che parlavano si è, che l'andare mi facevano di nullo costo. So they were ignoring him. He was at the back, but he had to keep up with them. And uh, he did. Ed ecco, piangere e cantare su die, labia mea domine, per modo tal che diletto e doglia parturie. Labia mea domine, which means... Uh, uh, which means that, you know, keep my lips closed, O oh God, because this is the cycle, la cornice, the gluttonous, the gluttony, uh, you know, a great desire to, uh, to eat and drink in excess. And that could be applied to the, uh, the Brahma of potere, of, of uh, wanting to have power political power in this case. Labia mea domine per modo tal che diletto e doglia parturia. O dolce padre che è quel che odo. What is it that I hear? Says, uh, says Dante. Comincia io ed elli, ombre che vanno forse di lor dover solvendo il nodo. <laughs> Beautiful. Ombre, shadows that go about trying to unknot their, their, their sins, in other words, to, you know, uh, to, to be punished accordingly, but to then be freed of the sin of gluttony. Si come i peregrini pensosi fanno, giungendo per cammin gente non nota, che si volgono ad esse e non restanno, Così di retro a noi, piuttosto muta, venendo e trapassando ci ammirava d'anime turba, tacita e devota. So the, all these souls here had their faces uh, emaciated. You couldn't really recognize the any, anyone at all because uh, they were like, um, you know, their faces had uh, no carne, there's no meat, just just the bones and the skin. You wouldn't be able to recognize anyone there. Negli occhi era ciascuno scura e cava, pallida nella faccia e tanto scema che dall'osse la pelle si informava. So the description here, Dante is explaining. Okay, explaining that he is uh, there in a, in a, I hope I did it right. Yes, I did. Okay, so th this is where we are. Uh, there is the entrance to the cornice, number six of the gluttonous, and uh, you meet the first lot of first lot of souls that are being punished accordingly, and uh, there is hope for them uh, because once they have um, become pure purified of their sin, they'll be, be able to go to the next cornice and then to Paradiso Terrestre and presumably also to Paradise. We have to find out. Non credo che così a buccia strema e risittone fosse fatto secco per disciunar quando più ne...
debba tema. Io dicevo fra me stesso pensando, ecco la gente che per te Gerusalemme, quando Maria nel figlio die di becco. So these are the people who lost, like Jerusalem uh, was, was lost uh, uh, to the Romans. They, they burned it, to, they destroyed it after Christ. Not because a bit later, but the punishment did come. Uh, so, uh, io fra me stesso andavo dicendo, ecco gli ebrei, la gente che perse Gerusalemme dopo lungo assedio dovettero ridursi in questo stato di macilenza quando furono assediati dall'esercito romano comandato da Tita, da Tito e Maria di Eleazaro, come bestie rapace divorò il proprio figliuolo. So there, there you are. These are, that's the time when the Romans destroyed the Jerusalem and one of the mothers ate their own son so that he wouldn't be uh, cap captured by the Romans. Io dicevo fra me stesso pensando, ecco la gente che perde Gerusalemme quando Maria nel figlio die di becco. Pareva un'occhiaia anella senza gemme. Anella senza gemme. Without the gems che nel viso degli uomini legge uomo, ben avria qui vi conosciuta l'emme. Uomo. Men. Here, in this case, here, would have, uh, chi, avrebbe, chi non sapendo come questo fatto avvenga potrebbe credere che il, il uh, profumo di un frutto e quello dell'acqua, generando brama di mangiare e di bere, potesse produrre tale effetto, ridurre quella gente a tale stato di estenuazione e di ma macilenza. So, here, pareano le occhiaia nella senza gemme, chi nel viso degli uomini legge uomo, ben avria qui vi conosciuta l'emme. So, how, you know, how could it be that, you know, people who ate and drank to excess near Are not recognizable. Chi crederebbe che l'odore d'un pomo, eh? l'odore d'un pomo of, a, of an apple, si governasse generando brama e quel d'un'acqua non sapendo come, già era in ammirare che si, che si li affama. Per la cagione ancora non manifesta di lor magrezza e di lor trista squama. That looked really horrible. Uh, these souls, the just skin and bones, literally. Ed ecco del profondo della testa, vos a me gli occhi, un'ombra, e guardò fiso, poi gridò forte. And then amongst all this group, there's one soul that exclaims, exclaims. And on that note, we have to have a drink. explains qual grazia me questa what you know poor grid of fort qual grazia uh, grazia what lucky day for me what is this lucky day for me mai non l'avrei riconosciuto al viso i would have never been able to recognize him by the face says dante ma la, nella sua ma nella voce sua mi fu palese ciò che l'aspetto in sé aveva conquisto. So, even though this soul had lost all its flesh, the voice gave him away. And Dante recognized him. Questa favilla tutta miracciosa. Oh, I said, I'm finally meeting somebody from, you know, from my days on earth, you know, together. Mia conoscenza ha la cangiata le abbia. So this soul had changed the, the face, but the voice gave him away. E ravvisai la faccia di Forese. And I recognized in him the face of Forese. From his speech, not from his looks. De, non contendere all'asciutta scabbia che mi scolora, pregava. La pelle ne ha difetto di carne che io abbia. So don't worry about the fact that I am now without flesh, but I am only skin and bones. Ma dimmi, 
Uh, he says, don't worry about that. Uh, you know, our old days when we played together, when we, you know, took the, the mickey out of each other. Uh, Madim, yeah, tell me, il verdite, the truth from you. Di chi son quelle due anime che là ti fanno scorta? Who are those two over there, that, those two souls that are leading, you know, that, that are leading you to where are you going? Non rimanere che tu non mi fa velle. Don't stay just there. Don't, don't, you know, try to talk to me. Don't, don't say anything. Say something to me. La faccia tua, che io lagrimai già morta, mi dà di piangere, ma mo non, non mi no, minor doglia, risposi io lui, vengendola si torta. He says, look, my God, what's happened to you here? Huh? La faccia tua. Mi fa piangere, you know, I'm going to cry. Look, look at the way you've been reduced. Però mi di, per Dio che si, che si vi sfoglia, non mi far dir mentre io mi maraviglio che mal può dir chi è pien d'altra voglia. Eh? Però mi dir per Dio, you know, tell me, chi vi si sfoglia, non mi far dimenticare, so, tell me, you know, don't let me, don't let, let, let me stay in wonderment thinking of how you got to this stage and how come you are in the sixth cornice of Purgatorio? You know, you got here pretty fast, really. Ed egli a me, ok? Dell'eterno consiglio cade vertù nell'acqua e nella pianta rimasa dietro. O Dio si mi assottiglio. So even though I have that fruit tree that uh, emanates the odor of uh, food and drink, I have to stay away from that. Mi assottiglio, in other words, even though there is so much to eat, I have to stay, uh, I, cannot, I cannot touch any of it. I have to lose. I, I have to do my penitence in this way. And uh, tutta esta gente che piangendo canta per seguitar la gola oltre misura. All these people here, they're all singing uh, because they followed la gola, gluttony, uh, to extremes in life. So that's why. Infame in sete qui si rifà santa. So, by la legge del contrapasso, by not eating and not drinking, when it's all there, in other words, they are, uh, they are become, becoming saintly in their nature in purgatorio. In other words, they're getting ready to see God. And that's a good thing. That's how you do the penitence. Di bere di mangiare il nascente cura, l'odor che esce dal pomo e dello sprazzo che si distende su per questa sua verdura. So, you can smell this very strong smell of uh, pomo, of um, the fruit, the fruit emanating from this tree, and uh, the, the clear crystal water in there as well. You want to drink and eat, but you can't. You have to do your penitence. E non pur una volta questo spazio girando si rinfresca nostra pena. So even though we go round and round, it's not just once, you know, you've got to go for years and years. Io dico pena e dovria dir sollazzo che quella voglia e gli alberi ci mena che meno Cristo lieto a dire egli quando ne liberò con la sua vena. So this is like Christ saying, that he forgave, he said, forgive them, they don't know what they're doing to, to people. So in other words, he took on the punishment in order to liberate, to give people the chance for salvation. Again, coming back to the Middle Age Christian beliefs, dogma, they were dogmatic times. He had to follow what they said in order to achieve uh, earthly and God's paradise. Well, there was so much roughness during the Middle Ages. You know, you wouldn't be able to, only if you were 
uh, in the courts, you would have a good time, really. But even there. E non per una volta questo spazio girando si rinfresca nostra pena. Io dico pena e dovrei dir sollazzo che quella voglia agli alberi ci mena. That, that sin of gluttony leads us to, to that plane. Che meno Cristo lieto a dire Eli. Che meno... E non pur... E non solo una volta si rinnova, riacquista freschezza la nostra pena, la nostra sofferenza, mentre percorriamo, e finché lo faremo, il pianto, il piano di questa cornice. Ho detto impropriamente pena, dovrei dire Letizia, sollazzo, Letizia, because it leads to God. That's the explanation. Quando nel libro, io, e io a lui, Forese, eh, then Dante speaks to Forese, Forese, da quel dì nel qual mutasti mondo a miglior vita, cinque anni non sono volti infino a qui. It's less than five years that you, that you died. I come, you're up here. Se prima fu la possa in te finita di peccar più che sovvenisse l'ora del buon dolore che a Dio ne rimarita, come se tu qua su venuto ancora. How come you came up here so fast? Well, well, but, you know, you only died not even five years ago. Io ti credei a trovare là giù di sotto, dove tempo per tempo si ristora. I would have thought to find you further down in Purgatorio, where you have to live the full life in order to be forgiven and receive penitence. So how come? You're up here. And then Forese says, on me, hey, 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 hey. Si tosto m'ha condotto a berlo dolce a senso di martiri, l'anella mia, con, quest, con suo pianger di rotto, nella mia. Oh. My wife's name, Nella. Forese says, it was her that reduced my penitence. And why was that? Con suoi prieghi devoti, with her devo devoted uh, prayers to God. A consul spirit, the sigh, oh God, please forgive him. Oh, he was such a good man. All right, we know he, he ate and drank too much, but please, you know, <laughs> etc., etc. And uh, of course, good God being very merciful and misericordioso, out of respect for Nella, gave him a chance to go further up in the cornice del Purgatorio con suoi preghi devoti e con sospiri, tratto ma della costa ove sospetta e liberato ma nelle altre giri. So liberated me of the other circles going up the mountain. So he went from the bottom, boom! He took an helicopter and went up there. Tanto è a Dio più cara e più diletta la vedovella mia. Ah, Assunta Lombardi, welcome. So Nella, questa Nella, moglie di Forese, uh, dice, ha pregato a Dio e, e dice, ah, tanto è a Dio che più cara. So he loves her, God, è più diletta la vedorella mia, sì? che, mol che molto amai, I loved her a lot. Quando in bene operare è più soletta, e so now that she's on her own, Uh, she wants to do some good things for me. Che la barbagia di Sardegna, sai, nelle femmine sue più è pudica che la barbagia dove io la lasciai. Amongst all that corrupted uh, humanity of women in Florence and in Sardegna and everywhere else, this, this woman, Nella, who is absolutely, you know, a good person, there's always a gem among in the fungo in the sand ok so the, this o oh, dolce frate che vuoi tu che io dica what do you want me to say o oh, dolce frate that's to to Dante Forese and Dante were very good mates uh, even though they they sort of competed against each other of course in their youth they don't talk about uh, wanting to go back it's just Memorize, in memory. 
Tempo futuro, ma già, ma già nel cospetto cui non sarà quest'ora molto antica. So I'm looking forward to time now, because questo tempo, this time in purgatorio, uh, he knows that there's only one more girone, uh, one more cornice to go up to paradiso terrestre, in purgatorio, right at the top. Qui non sarà quest'ora tempo futuro, ma già nel cospetto. I already see my future time. I can already smell it almost. Qui non sarà quest'ora molto antica. So this time here won't be long now and I'll be free. Nel qual sarà in Pergamo interdetta alle sfacciate donne fiorentine l'andar mostrando con le poppe il petto. And then he has another go at the women of Florence. They, they have uh, le poppe e il petto. L'andando mostrando il petto, you know, in other words, they were uh, very naughty people. These Florentine women of the times of Dante, well, didn't have a good opinion of all of them. He only some of them. Well, he had Beatrice on his side, and the other one had Nella. Lucky two, the lucky two. Quai barbare formai, quai saracine cui bisognasse per farle ir coperte o spiritare o altre discipline. <laughs> Quai barbare formai. Quali donne mai di selvaggi o di saraceni la, la barbarie e l'assenza della vera fede potrebbero essere motivo di giustificazione per loro? Furono così sfacciate da rendere necessario per farla andare decentemente vestite ricorrere a sanzioni delle autorità spirituali o civili. So in other words, the, 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 le autorità uh, spirituali, the church people, uh, and we still see that in some parts of the world where the, uh, the religious orders go around uh, uh, literally uh, punishing women who don't look the part that are not, non sono ben vestite the way they want. Ma se le svergognate fossero certe di quel che il ciel veloce loro ammanna, già per urlare avriano le bocche aperte, che, per, che se l'antiveder qui non mi inganna, prima fien triste che le guance in peli colui che mo si consola con nanna. De frate, orfa che più non mi ti cieli, vedi che non pur io, ma questa gente tutta rimira là dove è il sol vedi. De frate, orfa che più non mi cieli. Talk to me, I, I suppose he wants to be, he says, you know, look at the sun. So in other words, a reminder that the sun uh, there is... Um, you know, si avvicina alla fine della giornata. Uh, the end of the day is coming. So, you know, talk to me quickly. Because, oh, now you gotta go, I suppose. Perché a lui, se tu riduci a mente qual fosti meco e qual io teco fui, ancora fia grave il memorar presente. So, remember what I mean to you and what you mean to me. Okay, this is a, a very important moment. We're not saying we want to go back, just say now our meeting is a good one. You know, it sort of makes us remember uh, the friendship that we held together. Di quella vita mi volse costui che mi, ava, mi va innanzi, la tier quando tonta vi si mostrò, vi si mostrò la suora di colui. I'm going to read that again. Perché a lui, se tu riduci a mente qual fosti meco e qual io teco fui ancor fia grave il memorar presente ok that's where we are di quella vita mi volse costui che mi va innanzi in other words costui che mi va innanzi Virgilio you know, this my guide he reminded me not, not to waste too much time because we gotta go che mi va because l'altro ieri you know Earlier on, or ieri, quando Tonda vi si mostrò la suora di colui, 
when il sol mostrai, costui per la profonda notte menato, ma di veri morti con questa vera carne che è il secondo. So saying, oh, I have my body here, but I am going through here. I've got to hurry up. And that's this guide of mine has, has remi- keeps on reminding me because that's what I've got to do. Whereas you people are, ma di veri morti con questa vera carne che è il secondo. So, but i veri morti, uh, they are souls. Everyone is a soul, except for me. Indi mantratto su di suoi, di suoi conforti, salendo e rigirando la montagna, che drizza voi che il mon, mondo fece storti. So, he took me around all the... Uh, Cornici, all the cycles of Purgatorio, and he keeps on reminding me to hurry up, we gotta go, we gotta go, that's what he did for me. Tanto dice di farmi sua compagna, che io sarò là dove fia Beatrice, and I will be, uh, he tells me, we're gonna get to Beatrice, whereas you had your Nella, and I had my, my Beatrice waiting for me upstairs. Beautiful. Qui vi conviene che Sanza lui rimanga, questo mi conviene, I've got to say goodbye to you, ok, because I've got, Virgilio è questo, Forese doesn't react, Virgilio è questo, that's Virgilio, oh yeah, Forese knew about Virgilio, so but for him, no big deal, it's just part of the journey, these are my two guides, that's Virgilio, that's Stasi, oh yes, That's the, you know, that's the, the governor general, that's the prime minister, oh yes, it just, uh, Forese doesn't, Give much, doesn't react. Virgilio è questo che so, si mi, mi dice, è a dita lo, and he pointed to him, a dita lo, a dita lo, and that's well done, that's it. Virgilio è questo così, che così mi dice. This is Virgilio who says all these things to me. Hurry up, okay? E quest'altro è quell'ombra per cui scosse di anzi ogni pendice lo vostro regno. And this is the other one who has decided to accompany us, and then he's got to come down, of course, uh, to, to meet Beatrice. Once they are in, in Beatrice's presence, Virgilio says goodbye to Dante, and so does Stazio, they go back. Per cui scosse di anzi ogni pendice lo vostro regno, that's purgatorio, che da sé lo sgombra. Ok? So Virgilio, questo nome che... There are notes here. I, I urge you to, to get this, this um, particular book of purgatorio. It's very interesting. There are a lot of... Um, There are a lot of uh, also essays, is it a lot of notes, and my explanation, of course, will uh, I do my best, but it's pretty hard, really, when you think about it, when you think that one should know a lot more about the times and all of Dante's uh, preparation uh, as an intellectual during the Middle Ages. Very thirsty. Well, that was that, Canto 23. So that was Igolosi. I'm not sure about 24, whether Igolosi is still there and will meet other people. But it's time now for my poetry. And I can't remember, like Boga we did last time, and Reflection. The next one is Motel. The Motel is one. And this is now any plants, okay? I'll do the two of them. Motel. So we get, to, I get, to, this in the 80s, I get to Swan Hill with my brother in law, sister in law, and niece, and they are uh, being invited to a wedding, and I'm the master of ceremonies there. So I go with them. So I, I go to the motel, and they go to their motel, but I go to the motel. Here we are, at Rio Vista. That's the name of the catering service there. 
We have arrived. Greetings. Joe takes the cake, because I bring him the cake, from Melbourne. The motel, preparation. For everyone, the church, for me, the list, the program, the shower, missing uh, the black socks, the aftershave lotion. So I miss uh, something. Background film on, on the American fleet. Foreign conflicts to my moment. You remember the war in Argentina there? And uh, so that was the fleet, the American fleet at the time. Four oranges and an apple, I refuse the coffee. There's a furry friends on the small table. The koala's looking at me. There's all cakes, little cakes, chocolates, etc. Very tempting, but didn't get any. Not even the coffee. I order from the menu tomorrow's breakfast. They have arrived from the church. Then I see outside, they come from the church. Not yet. I'm waiting in the flag inn of Jane Eliza. So I went to stay at Jane Eliza flag inn at the time. The English names make the memory more alive, more real. It's cool, but everything is in order. I'm ready. I wait. Here we are on time. So I then I got to the hall and everything is ready, etc., etc. Oh, no, and there's the reception hall here. It's pretty long. Pretty long. Uh, in Italiano. Ecco arriva vista. Siamo arrivati. Saluti. Gio prende la torta. Il motel. Preparazione per tutti la chiesa. Per me la lista. Il programma. La doccia. Mancano le calze nere. Il profumo dopo barba. Film di background sulla flotta americana. Conflitti estranei del mio tempo. Quattro arance e una mela, rifiuto il caffè, c'è un furry friend sul tavolino, il koala mi guarda. <laughs> uh, oh, il koala, that's on, on the, on the uh, what is it, uh, rifiuto il caffè, c'è on the biscuit, cava. Ordino dal menù la colazione per domani. Sono arrivati dalla chiesa, non ancora. Aspetto nel flag in di Jane Eliza. I nomi inglesi rendono il ricordo più vivo, più reale, fa fresco. Ma tutto è in ordine. Sono pronto, aspetto. Eccoci, il te eccoci in tempo. So I got to the sala di ricevimento. And there are, this is a long one, the other one. I'm going to leave it there for today. Because I'll do salad di ricevimento and il pranzo next week. Okay, so that because that concludes one, one other chapter. And now I'm going to go. I'm going to go to. Uh, you do realize Christmas is over. Okay, but uh, what I have to do is I, I want to put some of the Christmas songs in here. So let me just go to my my computer. Let's let's hope everything goes well. There we are. Okay. Now I did uh, go before, and I had quite a bit of um, footage and fo photos from my uh, outing uh, to. From my outing uh, uh, to Cardella near Corambara and Leon Gatha, and then also to the beach. Uh, what do I? I've got to go to 29 Let me see. Oh, yeah, I don't know. 8, 1924. Okay. We're almost there. Uh, come on. Here we are. I got it. Okay. Well, we're going to play this ones here. This is Christmas ones. Here we go. Back again. Let's hope. Good luck. Let's hope that we can do this. These are the two. Here we go.
come on. What's going on here? Oh, I know. Now we're talking. Ah, I see. Let's see what happens here. Just a few days before Christmas uh, 2022, and here I am with Dora, Rina, and uh, we're going to sing a few more uh, Christmas songs. However, because we've been so busy, I'm going to use our uh, tablets, you know, the, the online uh, lyrics, etc. We'll see how we go. Uh, you know, the preparation is, is not... Uh, but it doesn't matter, because at Christmas, Everyone should be singing yeah. Christmas songs right. yeah. at home. Just and it doesn't right. matter whether they, you know, they can sing it properly or not. Mm -hmm. uh, just look at us. Sometimes <laughs> we make mistakes. So, yeah. but we've got, you know, we've got what it takes and in order just, to, yeah, uh, in order to, to bring joy to our heart. That's why we do. To it. change the concept. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, Bianco Natale, but this time in Italian. Okay. Okay, now, uh, the reason I am, in, even though Christmas is over, uh, I want to put some of these Christmas songs within the Dante project and, uh, you, you know, and also because I missed the 18th, the 25th and the 1st of, of the year, Sunday, uh, I'm going to just play them now and introduce them to my to this project which is good we did it last week and we're going to do it this week here bianco natale here we go Rino. bianco natale Okay, that's uh, that was nice. One one of them is done. Let's have a look now whether we got uh, the next one here. This is another beautiful song for uh, Christmas, uh, and it's Astro del Cielo. Okay, uh, so we're going to do it in full in Italian. Solo in Italian, right? Va bene, Astro del Cielo. Uh, but cominciamo fra 
qualche secondo. Qualche secondo? Il secondo è passato. We got an Here we go. Astro del cielo, Rino. Astro del cielo, vado di te. Well, that was another one. Um, so the Christmas spirit, you know, each year is with us and we are very happy to be doing this. Uh, it was quite nice this year. Uh, dedicated quite a few songs to it. And this is another one here. Let's see. We're going to do our song now. All right, it's Christmas and the Reno has been singing this uh, L'amore è un archivone. And I said, why, not, why don't we do it? And let's do it uh, now. But there is a, the rain is coming out outside. And I'd like for the rain to accompany us, to accompany Dora on her mandolin mm. as well. And, we are, and I will read the first part because we haven't done it. Okay, so here we go. L'amore è un archivone is coming, to, it's coming now. L'amore and so was the rain. <laughs> Here we go. Dora, Nina, well, in Lamora, Welcome to Abid Al F. Nan and Angela Imela. Oh, 
Well, that was a little bit of digression from the Christmas one, but Rina had just done the song and he wanted to play it, and I thought, hey, why not? Let's go there. Uh, wait a minute, I just want to see something. Oh, yes. Okay. We'll start with this one. There you are, the instruments. And now, the next one. Oop. Now, this is a song for not just yeah, Christmas, but also, in a way, welcomes uh, the new year as well, because it's Prosperano y Felicidad. Feliz Navidad. Because it's a Feliz Navidad. Prosperano, un anno prosperous year mm -hmm. and felicità, quindi for Christmas and for the new year, okay? So we're ready, it's a short one, but a good one. This year's Spanish lessons will have been good. Okay, let's go. Feliz Navidad. Rina, go on. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Prospero Ano y Felicidad, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Prospero Ano y Felicidad. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas, I wanna wish you What's going on? <laughs> Another phrase. <laughs> oh, God. Let's go back. Let me see if I... No. I didn't expect the phrase. Never mind. What can I do? And now there's a ball rolling on the computer. So that's how it is. Look, whilst I'm waiting, I might as well uh, say that... Um, uh, you know, lately things, maybe it's it's this Christmas time where there's a, a lot to do. Uh, some things go wrong in the middle of, uh, the ball is still going. Come on, stop it. Uh, uh, 
what I've done uh, lately, I've finished with the Italian lessons, lessons 1 to 60. They're available. Oh, it's come back in again. Yes. We'll go to the next one. Here we go. No. Oh, well, again, the ball is... Lessons 1 to 60 are available in insegna.com in, uh, in the blog section. And uh, here we go. Okay. Let me see in the blog section. And I suggest that people actually go through the, well, through the lessons. We've come to the end of another... The end of the year. Uh, of another afternoon here as well, as well as Christmas around the corner, and the new and the old year is going, and the new year is coming. So we're going to finish with Buon Anno e Buona Fortuna. Okay. There's a bird outside under the rain. There is a, a bird outside listening to us. At least somebody's listening. <laughs> And Dora thinks it's her husband from upstairs. <laughs> oh, well, that's how it is. Okay. May everyone listen. Rina, Dora, buon anno, buona fortuna. Rina. Buona l'anno che muore, ci saluta, me sto se ne va, sorge l'ampa, per ogni cuore che il nuovo anno dietro sarà. Buon anno che è felice nella vita, buon anno alla spigliata gioventù, un'altra primavera è già sfiorita, buon anno a chi vent'anni non ha più. Chi sognando in sé una mia chimera, a chi nel cuore una speranza alcuna, la vita è bella e ancora ti dice spera, buon anno, buona fortuna. Well, that was a good way to finish uh, uh, this particular program. Uh, thank you very much for your company. Uh, yes, uh, uh, it's wonderful to be here each week. Next week will be 
uh, Canto 24. I look forward to it. There are 33 Canti to Purgatorio, so it won't be too long. We'll have this one uh, finished as well. And uh, this uh, Thursday coming, uh, I'll also be uh, finishing off with uh, the first uh, series of World History. And then uh, I'm trying to, well, I'm putting them on uh, to YouTube as well. So I just want to complete the works and then come back for fresh material later on. Okay. So buon anno, buona fortuna, happy new year to everybody. And uh, let's have a good one, uh, hopefully in good health. And then all the rest, we deserve it. We are human. Okay. Ciao. Next time. Tom Padula from Tom Padula TV on YouTube and Insegna Booksellers.